take a look at that mirror right there, Juju. When Juju came face to face with our jury, she reacted with complete denial. She's a rapper. She's lucky she has a sugar daddy because she couldn't make a living at this. I make my own song. I write my own idea, my own songs. All my friends come to me, you're going to make it, you're going to make it, you're a good singer. After that, I said, I can make it. With a video on YouTube hoping to garner her some attention, Juju's come a long way from her life in Thailand. I just want a man who's rich. Back then, I didn't have enough money to do anything yet. I said, how, how are we going to make it? I tried to figure out myself, how are we going to make it? We had the idea until one day I got the money. <laughs> yeah, I have a uh, boyfriend who uh, buy me thing. Juju may have a home. Hi, Frankie. Juju. Here you go. Yes. A driver and an exotic lifestyle. But her sugar daddy foots the entire bill, including her music. If Tara decided to leave, you know, the, the clothes, the house wouldn't exist. She's living in a little bit of a fantasy world because everything's basically given to her. She's delusional. Trying to make herself crazy. look young and feel young, but actually she's aging herself a lot. Now Juju has seven days to turn that first impression around. I need to have my teeth done. I need to have my hair done. I just want everything. After I will feel like I can be a star. I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. Okay, yes, okay yeah. he's, he's right here. Come on, let's okay. go. I thought Juju was in need of a major reality check, so I took her to meet Zach Warner. Juju, Zach is a music executive and also one of the judges of Canadian Idol. Oh, really? Oh my god, am I dreaming? <laughs> <laughs> well, meeting Juju, her age is very apparent. You know, the whole baby doll, platinum blonde getup is just so radically wrong. Are we going to go inside and discuss delusion? I mean, uh, talk about music for a while. <laughs> Zach, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate this. You'll owe me. So Bruce um, showed me your online video. I'm highly medicated, so I was wondering if you would want to sing one of your new songs for me. How about a song called One Night Stand Man? One Night Stand Man? Yeah. Yes. I sing one of my favorite songs for Sat. I make me feel really nervous. My brand new love song is One Night Stand Man. Are you ready? Let's do it. I used to believe in love. I used to believe in life, affair, retail. But now I know about life too well. All I need is one night stand man, one night stand man, one night stand man. All I need is... Please have a seat. You know, telling people what I generally try to talk about is whether they have a chance to have a career. I appreciate that you love it, you know, and a lot of people have passion for music. Yeah. I think singing with the radio in the car is probably your best bet. I don't see you having a career in music. I don't think it's going to happen. I thought he would like it, but he told me I won't be a star. Do you have another way to go about have, making a living in your life? This is what I plan. Yes. She really wasn't hearing what I was saying, and I don't think it's so much the language barrier as a, a very skewed perception of, of herself and of reality. Very few people become rock stars. I think if somebody's living their life planning on being that quote-unquote special, it generally means to me that they're missing something in their life that makes them happy on a daily basis. I, you know, I respect what he said, but like, this is what I like, this is what I love. I love to sing, that's all I want to do. Although she was stubborn about her music, she agreed her smile needed some work, so it was on to our dentist. We hear you're a hip-hop artist. Yes. So I got blinged out just for you. <laughs> Are you hardcore about about your teeth? I am. A rap artist, they all have nice teeth, so I want to have a nice teeth too. It doesn't look good if you have them bad teeth. Over here, this tooth is behind your front teeth. That's what's yeah, called yeah. the crossbite. She has misproportioned teeth, large spaces, and her bonding is basically falling apart. It, it really needs a lot of work. Well, we have some great news though. We can fix all these issues. You're a dream couple. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard anybody write a song about dream dentists before? No, about I, I don't know one yeah. song about dream dentists. So okay, I can write it. You first. Yeah, I, I promise. I want you to meet a friend of mine, okay? Yes. After no. Zach's approach failed to burst Juju's bubble, Bruno, I knew just the guy Sounds who good. could it's knock some sense into her. Juju, this is Bruno, and Bruno is a life coach. 
life code? Yeah. Juju is very cartoon-like in her appearance and the way she dresses. So she can hide behind, you know, what's really there. Mm -hmm. So why don't you go ahead and tell me a little bit about your life? I sing, but I not really work like uh, full time or anything. And how do you support yourself? I plan to get my my, my business going, my, my music. Yeah. How much money have you made in nine years? I never really make him record that because like I. Who pays for your food? My boyfriend. Who pays for your entertainment? My boyfriend. So your boyfriend pays for everything. Yes. That ain't no boyfriend. I'm almost positive he's a sugar daddy. Juju's definitely in a dead end relationship, and she needs to turn her life around. If your boyfriend leaves you tomorrow, how are you going to support yourself? I do what I do right now. Are you dreaming? I am dreaming, but like, I think I can make it, I believe I can make it happen. This, wipe it off your face. This isn't a joke. What I see is someone that has not taken any responsibility for her life at all. Tell me a little bit about your life, your life back in Thailand. Uh, Sometimes I don't really want to think about my past because it's really break my heart. Because basically, some way I grew up on my own. I had to teach myself how to live. Just sometimes I miss things. I miss being in childhood. So like sometimes can be t really tough. That's why when I'm older, I you know I live with my boyfriend. I think I, you know I I don't stop working because I took care of a lot of people uh, as a child. Now I like people to take care of me. Didn't you feel proud when you did that? When you worked for yourself and you I supported did. yourself? I did. So you left Thailand to come to North America for a better life. You, you're so strong, yet so weak. Yeah. You need to figure out how to support yourself because nobody's going to be there for you. Yeah. Do I have your commitment yes. that you're going to make a plan B for yourself, for your life? Yes, I, I will. Juju's actually got to grow up and take responsibility for her life. If she can admit that to herself, that will be her first step on the right path. Too much skin. She's trying to be pretend that she's still 15.